It's over. Yeah, I think so. Okay, kids, get dressed as quickly as you can and meet us in the living room. Okay, okay. get Let's your go. shoes. Okay, let's grab our 72 hour kits and head on outside. I'll check the house. Okay, come on, girls. I'll meet you out in front. Okay. is okay. The foundation's solid. There are no cracks. If the phones are working, give Aunt Jane a call and let her know we're all okay. Aunt Jane? Why are we calling her? She's our out-of-state contact and she can call everyone else and let them know we're all right. Oh. Let's go check the phones. Right, be sure right. to stay alert in case there are any aftershocks. Right. All right, Dad. Hey, Bob. Juanita. Hi. Looks like everyone in your family's okay. Yeah, we're all okay. How about yours? Everything's great at my house. I've already done an inspection of the houses up and down the street, and everything looks good. Great. Then let's start heading towards the staging area. Okay, let's go. Mm, looks like a front, maybe. Heading in. Which team was the first one to arrive? They were. We, we were. were. That means one of you is team leader. Well, Bob has more experience than I do, so I think he should be leader. Does everyone agree? Sure. Yeah. Okay. 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 What did everyone see on the way to the staging area? Everything was all right in my area. There's no damage at all. We saw a home with some light damage. We talked to the people in the home, and they said that everyone was okay and out safely. No damage to report from what I saw. Okay, Juanita and I saw some damage on the way here. One building was pretty severe. I don't think it would be safe to enter. There was a building a few blocks back that had light damage. I think we should check it out. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Place. Okay, we need to examine the outside of the building for any structural damage, gas leaks, or anything else that might be a hazard. I'll stay here to coordinate. Remember to stay buddied up, and we'll meet back here at the front in five minutes. Okay. 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 Let's go. I think there's a leak. Think so? Yeah. Shut her down. Got it? Yeah.
coming through a broken window in the back. It's not a lot of smoke, so I think we should check it out. Okay. Now, we heard someone calling for help from the building. What do you think the best way is into the building? Well, the rear and the side doors look like there may have been some damage, so let's just use the front entrance. Okay, I'll start setting up a treatment area here and documenting what you do while you search. Remember to search in a right-to-left pattern so nothing gets missed, and stay paired up. Don't try anything you aren't sure you can handle. Okay. Okay, good luck. you over here. Is there anything we can do to help? Yes, there is. Well, this is our treatment area. Now, this area here is for treatment of delayed victims. I'd like you to stay here. Over there is the area for treatment of victims who need immediate care. You stay there and a CERT team member will show you what to do. All right. Okay, thanks. Uh, look here. This is our first victim. Um, we have a delayed victim here. Right over here. Okay. Down, Keep an eye on her. Okay. I'm just kind of comfort her. All right. Abdul, fire! Here, Brenda? Yes, I do. Okay. Brenda, were there any other people in your office? There's about five. Emergency response team. If anyone can move, please come to the sound of my voice. Come help me over here! Please yeah. hurry. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Where do you need me?
that's hot over here. We need some printing materials. Okay, let me see what I can find. Sure. Take it for me to transport. Alright. Okay. Right. This will help. I'll go get the material for transport and be right back. Immediate over here where this main center is. What's the injury here? She has a compound fracture and she's in shock. On my count, we go down. One, two, three. You guys go back in and get the rest of the victims out of the building. Let's Can I do it up. Go ahead and elevate the leg. Okay. Let's get her arms across the chest. Keep her long roll. Keep your arms across your chest, okay? okay. Her name's Nicole, right? we've done everything we can here. I want you to go down to the fire station on 3rd, let them know what we've seen, what we've done, and what we need. Okay? Sure, I'll be back. All right, thanks. You have just seen a community emergency response team, or CERT, in action. The concept behind these teams is simple. When a disaster strikes, people are going to help their friends and neighbors. So why not train these volunteers to safely assist professional emergency responders? The idea started during the Mexico City earthquake of 1985. That quake destroyed almost 500 buildings and killed over 14,000 people. 800 trapped victims were saved during that disaster by untrained volunteers. Sadly, a hundred of those same volunteers lost their lives while trying to rescue others. Recognizing the lack of resources available during the disaster, and the desire of untrained volunteers to help their neighbors. The Los Angeles City Fire Department decided to offer training in disaster response. To address this problem, the LA Fire Department began a program for everyday citizens in basic fire suppression, light search and rescue, and disaster medical skills. The result was the formation of trained volunteer teams. These units assist disaster victims in the critical minutes, hours, or days before professional responders arrive. These teams were named Community Emergency Response Teams, or CERTs. With LA's success, the concept was adopted by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and training is now being made available to the rest of the country. One of the first things that CERT members learn is how to protect themselves and their families in the event of a disaster. A family disaster plan could include having 72-hour kits for every member of the household, and learning how to shut off the utilities. CERT members also learn the basics of fire suppression. This includes how to approach and back away from a fire, how to anticipate where a fire might spread, 
and the operation of fire extinguishers. CERT members also learn techniques for the removal of heavy debris and how to extract victims pinned underneath. Techniques for debris removal are called cribbing. Victim extraction is another skill CERT members need to know. Proper lifting. Flaky carrying and chair carrying are all ways to extract victims from the disaster site. Some of the most valuable skills CERT members learn are the disaster medical skills. These allow CERT members to give life-saving assistance to victims injured during the disaster. CERT members will learn the START system, which stands for simple triage and rapid treatment. Using START, CERTs learn how to recognize life-threatening conditions such as airway obstruction, bleeding, and shock. Triage is a French word meaning to sort. The triage process occurs as quickly as possible after the victim is located. Triage personnel evaluate the victim's condition and sort them into one of three categories, immediate, delayed, or dead. Come help me over here! It is important to remember that the victim calling for the most attention is not always the most critically injured. It is also important to remember that CPR is not performed in a disaster environment because it requires too much time. The goal of triage is to do the greatest good for the greatest number of victims. Finally, CERT members learn how to deal with the emotional environment of a disaster by gaining an understanding of disaster psychology. A stressful event, such as a disaster, causes people to experience a wide range of psychological and physiological reactions. CERT members can help these victims put the pieces back together. CERTs have been successfully used during major disasters. Captain Vince Cardinelli of the Los Angeles City Fire Department explains how CERTs have been utilized in the past. Trained CERT people in the city of Los Angeles have been able to utilize their skills either individually as, or as teams during a series of uh, natural disasters that we had in 1994 and 95. We had firestorms, we had flooding, we had a civil disturbance, and of course we had the Northridge earthquake. During the earthquake, we were able to document things that CERT teams had done. We sent out a survey to all the trained CERT people in the San Fernando Valley. We held town meetings where we were able to discuss one-on-one -on -one with uh, trained CERT people and what they were able to accomplish for themselves and their families. And they talked about doing searches, about setting up medical areas, uh, utility control in their own homes and in their neighbors' homes. Disaster can strike any time and anywhere. As you can see, CERTs can play a vital role in responding to a crisis in your community. Community emergency response teams with training in light search and rescue, disaster medical and fire suppression offer disaster victims assistance in the critical minutes, hours and even days before professional help can arrive. 